Hello and welcome back for the final video, the bonus recording here. I'm going to show you what to do when you have a guest in the same room as you and you're ready to record using your Behringer USB interface as well as GarageBand. And as you can see, we have our input one, track one, right here, which is labeled as your host. And I usually just match this up to mic number one, which is plugged into your interface. For your guest, it's going to be mic number two or input number two. So we want to click on input number two for your guest. Once again, you want to click on this plus sign right here and just go ahead and click on input two. That's all you have to do and hit create. Great. Now we can name this accordingly. And we want to arm both of us. Let's get rid of that old file. And as you can see, now they are both armed for recording and ready to go. You can always click on this for input monitoring. Sometimes that can be a little distracting. You might get a bit of an echo while you're recording. So I don't know if it's necessary. You know, if you're plugged into headphones, you could always do that for yourself and your guests just to listen uh, live, but I don't necessarily do that only because, like I said, an echo can occur and it can be very distracting when you're recording. So I normally don't click on input monitoring, but give it a try and see if you uh, have a preference with that particular option. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and showcase... Hopefully this works properly. What it's like to record with two microphones now. I'm talking into microphone number one, and I'm talking into microphone number two. And as you can see, there's some bleed through here. Oh, let's go back. All right. One's a little bit louder than the other. And we always want to stay in the yellow. That's very important. We don't want to get too loud and go into the red area because that means we're distorting or clipping and we definitely do not want that. So let's go back and give this a listen. I'm talking into microphone number one and I'm talking into microphone number two. Great. So now you can see that we are essentially recording two inputs, two microphones through our USB interface. This would be microphone number one, and this is your guest, microphone number two. Want to make sure that they're armed and ready to go. But uh, yeah, like I said, you will get some bleed through when two microphones are in the same room relatively close to one another. So just expect that. Uh, don't fret. But at the same time, you do have the option to, you know, fool around with the editing process and... All of this can go very smoothly from this point forward. Just listening back. I'm talking into microphone number one, and I'm talking into microphone number two. And, I won't, can see there's, and we're staying in the yellow, thankfully. But you will definitely need to use some automation for cases like this, especially if your guest ends up talking a little bit more quietly than you do. Or maybe you talk quieter than the guest, so you'll see what happens when you record how you do have to tweak. I definitely recommend doing a sound check first and foremost with your guest. A basic testing one, two, three can go a long way and just make sure that the levels are where you want them to be. That's pretty much all you need to know for recording in person in the same room. And happy podcasting to you. I hope all of this was helpful for you. And thanks so much for listening. All the best. Bye-bye.